Hi, welcome back to Forensic Education. I'm Mike McCutcheon and I'm going to be your instructor today. I got a great show planned for you today and we're going to use three items. I'm going to teach you how to use the fuming wand. We're going to use some powder puff spray or aerosol fingerprint powder. And then I'm also going to show you how to develop fingerprints using a fire extinguisher. I know it sounds crazy, but it can be done. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put on my mask because we're going to use the fuming wand. I'm just going to put my gloves on as well. So now when we're talking about the fuming wand, it's going to use our super glue fuming. So we want to make sure that we're either outside in a well ventilated area if you're using the fuming wand, you're most likely going to be inside, so you want to make sure that you have eye protection and that you have a face mask. So here's our fuming wand, and here it has the on switch, and it also has the switch to turn on the gas. So we're going to pull the cover off, and quite simply, once we turn the gas on, we're going to ignite it, and that's going to heat up this element here. Once we put on the adapter at the end, this is filled with super glue. So once this heats up, the fumes are going to come out of the end, and then you can fume your, uh, fume your item. So now that we have, we're going to just use this cup here. So what I would do is I would just take this cup, and I would go ahead and fume it. Now this isn't on because we're in the studio, but if it were on, you would be able to see the fumes actually coming from the end. So I'm going to fume this like so and then I'm going to develop it. Now, when you're done using it, this is going to be extremely hot, so you're not gonna to wanna to touch that. But once that comes off, it has a little stand, and then you can put it down so that it doesn't burn anything. So now that this is done, we're going to use our aerosol powder. I'm just gonna shake it up here. So this is just a black powder. And so, what we're going to do is I'm going to actually spray this cup here. So we're going to use this side right here. So I'm just going to go ahead and spray this. Just a couple little bursts. Now, if you're looking at this here, you're not even going to be able to see any fingerprints right now. So I'm still going to go ahead and use my traditional fingerprint brush to go ahead and dust that. Oh, those are beautiful prints. Beautiful, beautiful. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this in for a close-up so that you can see the prints that were developed. Now it's a lot faster than using a traditional fingerprint powder. I'm just going to put that in for a close-up here. So you can see that there are fingerprint ridges on here. Now we can lift that just like you would lift any other uh, fingerprint. It's regular powder just like if we used our regular fingerprint powder. So you could use, I, I use tape, you could use tape or a hinge lifter. So you could go ahead, I'm just going to do the old Texas tear. I'm going to stick it on our backing paper. And again, put that in for a close up. Now that is the real print that you get. So that's going to be our nice fingerprint that we got from the, using the, uh, the aerosol spray. Now the second thing, this is basically going to be used as a giant aerosol spray, except I'm going to use this if I were going to do a whole outside scene or maybe a huge inside scene where there's lots of non-pore services that I wanted to process. But this is how we're going to do it inside. First I'm going to clear my stuff out of the way and make way for the, the pop and fume chamber. This is just a uh, quick portable fuming chamber that I could use out on the scene. So I'm going to go ahead and set this up. It only takes a few seconds. There we go. Now I'm going to take a plastic bag. Now I would use this uh, with normally with our cyanoacrylate fuming. Um, but we're going to use it for developing with the, po uh, with the powder. So we have our cup. We'll put a new cup in here. So here's my cup. Now this powder here is going to be a white powder, so you're going to want to be able to use this on a dark surface. 
So I'm going to go ahead and put that in here. Now let me show you what kind of fire extinguisher I'm using. Now if you see I'm using the ABC fire extinguisher which is one that can be used on all types of uh, all types of flames. So we're going to use that. So now that I have this cup in here uh, I would I would have fumed that first with our fuming wand or in a fuming chamber if possible. So now what we're going to do is I'm just going to pull the the end, make sure it's good to go. And then I'm just going to do a quick burst inside here because this is a very small area. Again, if this were a large, you could spray this thing like crazy. All right, here we go. So I'm just going to put a quick blast in here, just like that. You can actually see up top here there's how fine that, that dust is. Now I'm going to put my mask on when I take this off. I'm going to take our cup out. I'm going to break this down so that way you can see what I'm seeing. That's great. Look at all that. Wonderful. But now what we have is we have our cup. Now think of this as if this were a, a window or an outdoor scene or a car or something like that. All this fine dust is going to be all over. So I'm still going to use after a visual inspection, I'm going to look through and I see all these ridges. And you're like, wow, those are amazing. So you're going to take your brush and you're just going to clean them up. You're going to clean them up just like you would with the fingerprint powder. And then when you see the, the nice juicy ones you want, I see some here all along the edge. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to take my tape. I'm going to give it a tear. And we're going to lift our fingerprint. I'm going to stick that on our, again this is a, you can see that it's a, a fine powder but it's, it's very light. So we're going to use a, uh, we're going to lift it and then we're going to stick it on a dark background. So this one being a black background. And then there you have, you have your fingerprint. And I'm going to put that in for a close up as well. So what we have here is a very quick, easy way to develop our fingerprints using our fire extinguisher if we needed to do that outside. Uh, we also have the smaller version, which is just the powder puff. It's a, this is a black powder, but it's a very, Small, easy way to do a, a scene if you didn't want to make a big mess. This is great if you're inside and, you, and there's a, say there's white carpet or something like that and you wanted to be careful with your powder. This stuff works great. Fuming wand, fantastic. If you want to be able to super glue fume when you're on a scene and it's not something that you can bring back or put in a fuming chamber, wonderful, wonderful device here. All these products you can find at lynnpv.com. You can watch more of my videos at forensiceducation.net. Um, if there's anything you want to see, you can comment below and I will make sure that I make a video for you. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it.